In this tutorial, we'll be showing you our CDS Max plugin workflow in order to render full animated scenes using the V-Ray Render Engine. This mode is designed to render full animated scenes, including camera and objects movement, animated lights and materials, or generally anything with more complexity than just a simple camera animation. To continue, click on the Beam It Up option from the Render Beamer menu. In the plugin UI, switch the mode to Full Animation, Bake and Render. This mode only works with GI in Irradiance Map and Light Cache. It should only be used for scenes that require GI caching with these settings. Using Full Animation will prepare the Irradiance Maps with the Animation Pre-Pass and Light Cache Maps with Progressive Path Tracking. First, the GI Maps will be cached on the farm side. After that, they'll be used for rendering. The GI caching procedure is done for every frame from the render range. Store Direct Light Switch will allow the light cache map to be saved along with the Irradiance map. By default, it's always on. Once mode setup is complete, you can choose the cameras and render range to render. In our example scene, we only have one renderable camera, so the setup is pretty simple. You can change the plugin render settings, like outputs, buffers, and so on. If everything's good to go, just click on the Send to Farm button. Now the plugin will start preparing the scene and the project data to transfer. This process includes saving the scene, copying textures, and the whole project data. Once it's done, RenderBeamer will transfer your files to our farm file servers. Depending on the project size and network speed, it can take some time to complete. Once the upload is completed, just go to the Click Here to Submit Job button. The Job Submission window will pop up. You can use this to review some of the render settings. If you want, you can also create additional video outputs after the rendering is complete. To do that, just click on the Create Video Sequence from Output Frame switch. In the Video Settings panel, you can choose the encoder, extension, profile, and many other video output options. If everything is okay, just click on the Submit button to continue. Your scene will then be added to the render queue. As you can see, we have two render jobs. The first one is the bake job, which is basically GI caching. The second one is the render job. Keep in mind that both jobs are working in conjunction, so the render job won't start before the GI caching is complete. After the GI caching is done, the render job will automatically start. Once rendering is complete, you can go back to Render Beamer and download the outputs. Just switch to the Downloads tab, refresh the list, click on the Download All button, and RenderBeamer will start pulling all the outputs from our farm file servers. Now let's take a look at the outputs. As you can see, we have all of our rendered frames here. This includes our render elements and any additional render layers like RAW or multi-layer EXRs. And here's our final animation. That's basically it when it comes to 3ds Max V-Ray full animated shot rendering on our farm. Happy rendering with Garage Farm!